Welcome back to the City Buzz. We are going to talk about some fashion tips and some cozy fits with someone who is a definition of a hustler, Taylor Davidson. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm excited. Thank you so much for being here. And we are wearing your brand. We're nice and cozy. Mm -hmm. We're having conversation. Um, I'm very excited to talk to you about this because this is all over social media. This yeah. is all I kept saying. And I met you for five seconds at a bridal shower for Alyssa. I know. Found yeah, out I that it's your cousin. So professional. No. <laughs> I found out it was your cousin. And I was like seeing the bags everywhere. I was like, hold on a second. I need to meet this girl. And I met you and I loved your vibe. And I love what you're doing. So you need to tell me how it got started and how this vision came to life for you. So I've always been a fashion girl. I mean, if people know me, I feel like as soon as they see my presentation, it's I love to dress nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel my best. Even if I don't have like makeup on or my hair is not good, like my outfit, it matters to me. Yeah. I'm going way back to when I was a kid. And do you remember like those heels from the dollar store? Yeah. The it, plastic heels? The plastic heels and, and your parents oh would gosh. get you the uh, the dollhouse, or not the dollhouse, the, uh, what's that called? Like your own, I don't know, what was it called back then? You have the crown and the, the little outfits with the dresses mm -hmm. and the shoes and everything. Like that's what we used to have when we were kids. Yeah, and I lived in them. You lived in like them. I lived in them little shoots. Like every Saturday, my mom would take me to the dollar store, and I probably had like the same pair over and over again. And I wanted those heels over and over again, and I wore them like they were a pair of shoes. Like I wanted to be in them dollar store little heels. That's okay. And, and she knew, like she knew, the soon as Saturday hit, she'd come over our house every Saturday, have a cup of coffee. She didn't have to take me to the dollar store after him. As soon as we walked in, what's my mom getting you? My dollar store heels. Your dollar store and she heels. got me my dollar store heels. And, and that's like, how it all started. Yeah, it was just like, even when I was a kid, like I was so into fashion. Like I always liked to dress good. My mom obviously dressed me really good when I was younger. Yeah. And then once I got like a taste of like being able to dress myself, that was it from there. Like I just really enjoyed it. I wanted to start picking out my own outfits. Like what I wore to stuff mattered. Mm -hmm. So when my mom, I don't know, maybe I was like 11, 12, Foreman Mills, one Christmas, she was like, you can pick out your own outfit to wear for Christmas. Cause you know, like parents. How they, excited were you? Oh my God. I was like, <laughs> I already knew as soon as I woke up, I said, I'm wearing a pair of heels. Like, oh my God, yeah. I'm wearing heels. 11 so, years old, pair of heels. heels. And they Christmas were dinner. like this tall. Of course. They were so tall. We went to Foreman's. I got this tan sweater dress, belt, hoop earrings, cause hoop earrings yeah. in my statement. Yeah. And these heels were so tall. She didn't even like double look. She was just like, get them. Do your thing. She knew she wasn't going to hear the end of it. Yeah. So from that point on, it became like a, a tradition kind of where it was mm -hmm. like every Christmas. She, even as young as I was, she let me pick out my own outfit. She gave it to me for Christmas, of yeah, course. And here, yeah. ah, like, and oh my God, the outfits were just. I love this. Yes. So your grandma and your mom calls the fashionista yeah i mean i was doing like fashion shows in my grandma's house we got to tell the whole me about nine this yards, like like to go back to the dollar store heels i have polaroid pictures and i'm looking at the outfits like where did she we need to put from? a polaroid picture in here oh you. my god yes we need i to have the it. exact one i wore this the one that i seen recently i don't know what was on my head it was a headband with like silver stuff popping out of it like a go-go girl like mm -hmm. kind of like dress oh my god it was hysterical and I remember when I was younger, like they had three stories. So they would sit downstairs, her and my pop. And they knew when they, they she bought me the outfits. Yeah. She knew what she was getting herself oh, into. And back then I thought I was Britney Spears. It's okay. We like, all thought we were Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. We thought we were all them oh girls. God. I was like. That, they were our idols. <laughs> yes. And I was like, are you ready? I came down them steps. Like I was at probably seven, eight years old. Like I was a grown woman down the steps with the poses. You're not looking at me. Take my picture. Take my Here picture. she goes with the Polaroid back then <laughs> taking pictures of me. And yeah, that's every time I was there, my, you know, my mom, mom and my pop, whatever I wanted, that was it. That and was it was it. always something within fashion, whether it was press on nails from the dollar store and I was wearing them at her house only, the heels, anything it was, you know? So since then on, like, I've real, it was important to me. Yeah. Like press on nails, the the dollar store heels. 
I love it. Yeah, it we're like really like, going back. The I, goodies. They're the goodies. Mm-hmm. I don't, it, it, listen, kids. They don't, don't have that stuff anymore. No, they don't. When you go to the dollar store, like, they don't have that for no, kids. They, do you remember they used to have the girl bags? No. They used to have these bags. They used to leave them in the dollar store. I, I don't know if they. Wait. These bags had like a girl bag, boy bag, and in the girl's bag, like it was five dollars, right? Mm-hmm. And you got like five or I and they remember, filled them all. Yes, yes, my grandparents. So you're talking about the dollar yes. store. My grandma and grandpa would also go every Saturday, and we would go to the dollar store. My grandma would spend like a hundred bucks in the dollar store. No idea how she did right. it. Junk, all junk. But they would get me that. I remember mm-hmm. this. You really, really. I brought me super that's back. a cool memory because I honestly that's probably how yeah. the accessory started because mm-hmm. they would fill it up to and sh- shout out to whoever filled them bags yeah. because I know that like they were good yeah when I got a little older I don't know if you know about it I used to play this online game while everybody was out you know being a kid and running around mm-hmm. I'm on the computer playing star doll wait did you make your own clothing you dressed celebrities this is what you're made. You're, this is what you're made to do. I used to sit on there, and like you could create your own thing. Like you had your own profile. So like I was on there as like a character. She's dialed up in like a prom dress, going like you know, and you had like you created a suite for yourself. So I spent so much time on there. I had so many coins, so many points on there. So all I did all day long was dress. I mean, the, I can't even like. I don't even know if it's still a thing, but you could dress up celebrities. They had accessories, shoes, everything. This is amazing to me. So I here I go, and I'm telling you, like, all these things, it's where I am today. I love it. And now you have your own clothing brand. Tell us about your clothing brand, like, the name. I'm very curious how you live. came up with the name of your clo- clothing brand. So when I knew I wanted to do it, it was just all for a while, you know, but it's like taking that first step I feel like it's extremely rough because you could have all the thoughts and like I have such a creative brain, Mm -hmm. but you taking that first step to like put it in front of you, it's everything and it's defeating because you think about all the worst things that can happen before anything good. So I remember telling my parents I'm folding clothes and I'm folding sets and I'm like, I don't like this. Like, why did I buy this with this? And I'm like, I wish I could just do something like this. Because I love sets. Yes, me too. So to die for. Listen, no matter what, when people see me, I normally have a matching like cozy set on. So that's why when I saw your things, I was like, are you kidding me? A girl in the neighborhood is making mm-hmm. one of my favorite things. Cozy matching sets. Like, I love it. They're so easy and you can dress them up. Mm-hmm. We'll get, you know, to that yeah. aspect. So... I brought it to my parents' attention. I'm like, I really want to do this. And you know that, like my parents, you know, they knew. They Mm -hmm. were like, we'll do it. You say it all the time, do it. So it really just went from me sitting around, being on YouTube, TikTok. And honestly, I had like a lick of experience with business. Like I didn't know anything. The first thing about doing anything. And I was like, I'm just going to dive in head first, watch some videos and wherever it took me. And here I was had a notepad and I'm writing down names I knew what I was going to produce from the sets yes but as it comes for the name I was like writing all things that I could think of like when you look at a set what do you think of so every all these things are coming to mind oh my god you're gonna laugh so and I still don't say it right okay so I'm writing down code word and my mom's like I was like you know I forget the name that it was at that time I was like what how's this sound she's like what's code word and I was like, you know, like the coordinated sets and her and my dad started laughing and they're saying like coordinated. And I'm like, I will. Pee. And I was like, well, that's how I say it. Coordinated. <laughs> and my dad was like, well, come on. That's not how you say it. Like, no, you have to say it right. And I was like, well, that's how I say it. And right then and there, I went, no, now that's what it's going to be. Because that's me. It's how I say it. Yeah. So then I wanted to really just emphasize the co like, yeah. So going into the logo, if you look at the logo. It's literally, I wanted it to be how I would say it. Co, very, you know, yes. say it, coordinated. I and, love Oh my this. God, it was hysterical. And I was like, well now I'm, that's my name. Cause it stalk so well with me. Wait, and I, I was like, that's me. original it is. Mm-hmm. It's not, because I didn't say it right. <laughs> that's great. Listen, I don't say things right at all. Oh I have the worst speech ever. I like, 
in work, like a family court, when I used to work there, everyone used to make fun of the way I spoke. I would say like mozzarella, like I would make up my own words, like constantly. People, they would be like, what are you even saying right now? I would say tumble sauce. Like a tum- like they would be like, yeah, yeah it's tumble salt. Uh, like it would be all these stupid things. I feel like things. everybody has certain words that well, we don't say. It right. also is because where we're from, yeah. um, we make our own language up. And guess what? It's okay. If people don't understand this, they can go somewhere. I really don't care. Um, <laughs> so I think that when people say we have an accent, like, and we don't have one. We just have our own little splice. We do. We have our own little spice here. A little, you know, like little, a mm, little pepper. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we have our own our own way of going about everything here. Um, just like you starting this business, like, not many people can do that. You were just like, I have an idea. This is what I love, and I'm just gonna do it. Like that takes a lot. It did. It take. Um, I doubted myself for so long. Like I was like, can I even do it? Like where do I start? And once I had the name. And I knew the logo. I was like, you know, I had Canva. I spent so much time on there. there. I, I love Canva. Oh God. I was like, so that's how you made your logo was Canva. Mm-hmm. And I spent hours on there. And I was like, how do you even work this? Like, how do, and I had some experience from like school, mm-hmm. but not like that. So I'm like looking around, hitting things. And I knew that I wanted it like how I said it. Yes. I was like, I want the code to be big and putting it together is long. So I was like, how am I going to put Yes. That all in one and hours and I hours love, and I hours. Love it. I figured it out. The color, of course, pink's my favorite color. Mm-hmm. There's no, that's just obvious. Yeah. So I selected doing like a pink logo at first, just playing around with mm-hmm. it. I was, you know, just doing the pink and the dark pink, and it was like two dark pinks that overlapped. So then I like lighted the one, like that's the L. Oh, got it. And then that was like, I was like, that's it. Now, the embroidery machine. Now I had a cricket. I used it for like a week. I my four brother like made like a logo for me and everything, like that I was gonna be a crafter and make a, a business out of this. I literally lasted maybe a month, the longest. Yeah. I bought wood, vinyl, everything. They need a lot they need a lot of stuff. I don't know how to work this mm-hmm. machine. How did you learn how to embroider? Like how did this happen? So when I when I seen the logo, I didn't want it to be like pressed or you'd like yeah that vinyl like kind of yeah thing. like you didn't want it to be like if someone washed the clothes yeah. it was gonna crack or something you wanted to be on the outfit. When I see embroidery, I think it looks so nice. I agree. And I was like, I'm gonna teach myself how to do this. At first, I thought about like just having it done for me and i was like no i want it to be more original where yeah. i put in the work and i do it myself because if you notice a lot of my clothes the logo's in different spots for a reason yes it is it um is. like the one is up here mm-hmm. i remember saying so that. my whole thing is when people wear it it blends in with like your body yeah it really does like it moves instead of just having like it, you know, like on these shirts are different, mm-hmm. but like on every shirt, just having a logo in the front wasn't for me. I wanted it to be in different parts of the body when people move and things. At first it was weird. Cause I was like, no, I don't like it. Like on the muscle tops, mm-hmm. it's like on the side. Yes. And I was like, I love that. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that before. I love that you do all the different styles. Like you do a muscle top, a crop top, like you do it at all. Tell us about the different styles and why you decided to do that so I like to be able to pick out my own things Mm -hmm. and I feel like it's hard when you're like on a website and you like the pants but you don't like the top yes that happens a lot and I'm like I don't like that and some people are different sizes top to the bottom so I my thing is I didn't want to sell just products I wanted to sell people a lifestyle Mm -hmm. to where it's like any person could get into it and feel their best because I feel my best when I'm in a good outfit. I, I agree. I um, wanted to hug mm-hmm. people's bodies, like the waistbands and stuff. It really does hug your body. It's flattering on I everyone. Agree. You gave me this outfit. I love it. I Looks good. went into the bathroom and was like, oh yeah, look at me. Mm-hmm. I got a waist now. Hey. <laughs> and it's not like tight. No. Like you would think not when you all. look at it, it's going to be like, like suffocating. Mm-hmm. No, it hugs people to the yes. right extent. And it makes you have like a figure. Mm-hmm. You're not just wearing a sweat outfit that's going to make you look like Tubby. 
I mean, snatched. I'll get snatched. snatched. I like mm-hmm. that. Nice snatched. and snatched. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I really just wanted it to be like more of a lifestyle for people where it's like you pick. Like, yeah, the options are there for you. Mm-hmm. I'm putting it on the table for people to select. Like I said, most of the time you're looking at stuff and you love the top. You have to think of a whole outfit to go with it. Sets are easy because yes. you're like, I could put this and this together. Mm-hmm. I also like to emphasize for everyone, you can wear sets anywhere. I'm not I saying agree. you could walk down the aisle and get married in a set, <laughs> but you can really wear them wherever. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, wear them in the house, outside, mm-hmm. wherever. Because you really can, like different shoes, different accessories, coach jackets, it pops the outfit. I totally it really does. agree with you with that. Like I said, I'm a set girl. I love it. I go and I, I look for sets. So, like I said, like this convenient. is- Convenient. So convenient. It's all about convenience these days though, if you think about it. Like if you, you're doing so many different things like you, you have two full-time jobs. I don't know how you do it. You have two full-time jobs. You have your own business. Like, so when you think about like your outfit, like it's easy. I got my, my sets yeah. and I'm ready to go. But tell, tell me how you juggle that. Like, it's I a lot. It is, it's a lot, yeah. It, it has no. to be. I am a stay-at-home mom and can't even do life. Like you have two jobs and do all this. It's amazing to me. It's a lot and it becomes overwhelming at times, but time management is very important. Mm-hmm. And the older I got, it I, it really was like crunched with me, was manifest in your time. Yeah. Schedules, I've never, you know, I was never on schedules. And now I'm like, mon- like Monday, I'm doing this. I set these hours aside for myself to do this. So it's really important. And that's what I had to realize is time management is everything. So I work, you know, during the week, during the day. And the business, once that came into play, I was like, where am I even going to figure out the time to do this? It worked. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even know how I did it. Like, I'll be completely honest. Some days I was like, where am I going to get the time to do this? And I figured it out. If it was waking up five o'clock in the morning and I had to do shirts, you know, on the embroidery machine for three hours prior to getting to work. Yeah. I did it. You know what I think it is um, a lot of the time when you're motivated in something, you don't care if you have two hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. It's the adrenaline that gets you going. It kicks you right in the butt. It does. And it's like, you know what? I'm finishing this. This is a vision that I have. And I just want to get it done. And that's what you were doing. And I also think like my biggest thing about it is when you put the work in, you see it. Yeah. You don't see it if you're not working hard for it. And if you really want something, if you really, really want something, you will get it done. And that's what it was for me. Mm -hmm. It was like, I want it. And I already took that step. And that first step for me, like figuring out like my logo, my name, the clothes, everything else, like doing all that and putting that out there, there wasn't any going back. Cause I already took so many steps moving forward. It's like, if I go back now, that's it. So no, I like, I sacrificed a lot. Like yes. I like changed the lifestyle, you know, like, two years ago like I was the going out every weekend like I felt like I was missing out on things if I wasn't there so yeah. now I'm like I'll see you yeah I'm in the house in Berlin shirts like I'm having a good time doing this like I'm I'm more of a homebody I was never yeah. the type that liked to go into a bar or anything um but it's because I was always working on something you know so I, I became a homebody you on the other like that was my st- my lifestyle you, on the other hand, you were more of like a party, like, hey, I'm going out, and then you switched. How does that feel? It's honestly, I will be probably, like, because a lot of people don't want to admit, like, mm-hmm. you know, the, it was fun for a while. Yeah. But, like, I feel like once you hit a certain age and you hit a certain mindset, it mm-hmm. changes from there. Because it's like, I knew that I wanted to take this serious. And, like, I felt like those going out days, like, they're always going to be there. I agree with you. Opportunities aren't always there. And I feel like sometimes if you don't jump for it in that moment, it won't be there. It's never too late, you know, in life for you to jump for things that you want to do. But you have to take the opportunity while it's there. Because I'm happy that I did. Like, I'm happy I was able to just, like, it's such a difference. My weekends now, I'm like... 
doing this, making like new designs up, you know, like I'm finding things. It makes you happy yes. though. Like I'm like, that stuff, like I don't even like, it doesn't bother me. That's what I'm gonna say, it's, it does not bother me. And it makes me feel good like deep inside, like in my soul knowing that I worked hard for all of it. Like it came from me. Yeah, all you. All me. This is so amazing. And it was, you know, everybody looks probably from the outside and it looks picture perfect sometimes. And I was not. Okay. My fingers were caught in the machine. <laughs> like holes in my fingernails and like teaching myself how to do that was a lot. I was going to originally take a class at like butchers cause they offer that. Okay. And I was like, why am I going to do that? Let me just see if I can figure something out on YouTube. You figure Hours it out. and hours on YouTube and TikTok. Let me tell you something, TikTok so teaches you a lot. There's so much on TikTok. It, it's amazing how you can learn anything on there. You so. can. You should post videos on there how you learned how to do it. Bet you get a lot of views I'm on that. I'm so bad with making videos. I'm like, the people that make these videos, like you got a lot of time. Well, like, your social media is phenomenal. Like I, just looking at it, it looks like so aesthetic. I love everything about it. Like, how do you do that? So one of my best friends, she's great with social media. Caitlin is her name. She does all my social media for me. We're partnered up with this. this so is amazing. I was originally, like, I knew that I wanted social media to be the biggest thing about this because social media is everything nowadays. Like, it's I don't think- It's the most important thing. It's, yeah, it is. It's And it's a lot to keep up with. Like, yeah. I didn't, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to produce the items, make the website, focus on social media, do all these different things. I had to select, what am I going to give my all to? Because it will become overwhelming and it has, and it's shown that to me. Like, yeah, I know I'm the person that like, I want to do it all. As much as I can handle, I will do it all myself. And it just was like, social media was the hardest thing. And me and Kate were talking and she's great at it. Like, oh my God, she just like organizes it well. And I'm like, where'd you like, where did you even find the like, elements and stuff to put together? Because when I'm looking around, I don't even find that stuff. When you look at my social media, it's a hot mess. I have no idea. Um, so when I looked at yours, I'm like, she's really great at this. So good job, Caitlin. She, Kate, you're the best. Like, so, mm -hmm. so awesome. And um, I think that, like I said, social media is number one. You can blow up overnight. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what happened with you. I kept seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. People that I know was were wearing it. I really love the skirts that you had and everything. Like that's mm -hmm. different. Yeah. Very it different. Is. And it's like, I was scared with the social media portion because like I said, I think about everything that could go wrong before it goes right. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to post this and it look a certain way. And I kind of had to like humble myself and get out of that little girl mindset and step into a woman yeah. and its perspective you know, and really say, you gotta be mature about this and stop caring what other people think. You know, what you post on social media, like you gotta watch certain things, but Kate is really good with organizing it. So it fits within like the blend. Now she knows like the secrets on like things of like the time of day and mm -hmm. it does matter. It does. I would have never known that. It does very much you know? the algorithm. Yeah, I was not, you know, educated on that whatsoever. And she's really good with that. So. She knows like what time to post it. She knows which pictures to mesh with, you know, mm -hmm. the theme that she's going for. Valentine's Day was a really good thing it because was. I, I had a Valentine's yes. and I, so oh cute. my God, all my friends and my sister wore their outfits and it was like, oh my God. I'm like, they're wearing my stuff. Yes. I'm like, so am I wearing the same outfit as me? Oh my God. Yeah. Like that's what's mm -hmm. going to be like, I see it. But the more I see it is like the more that like my heart gets full because I'm like, oh my God, like it's happening. It makes you want to keep going. Yes. It makes you want to just keep on going and going. And you didn't go to school for this. No. Nah. Like you have a degree in something else, mm -hmm. right? And you learned, you're doing um, like so great at just picking up things and learning online mm -hmm. when the internet can teach you so much. So much. It's Good and a bad, it's a good and a bad yeah. thing, you know, but I just went for it and I'm happy that I did because I wanted to do something that I really love to do. I went to school, I got my bachelor's degree in healthcare administration and 
there were doubts with that. Like I was like, do I really want to do something with this? Am I going to? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just dive into the fashion industry and see where it takes me. I didn't go to school for it. I didn't, I didn't know how to do any of it. I just sat around and had time and time for certain periods and I went for it and I learned how to do it. It's where your heart was. It was. So um, one thing about your social media I saw was the amazing photo shoot that you had. Are they all your friends? How did that happen? And how was that day like? Oh, I wish I could relive it. I literally look back on the pictures all the time and people are probably like, will this girl ever stop posting about this photo shoot now? Because to me, it was like a wedding day. Oh That's what it God. looked like when I was looking at the reels. It looked like a wedding day. So professional. Once again, like, how did you do this? Like, it is mind blowing. The ideas you have. I saw you had little bags mm -hmm. for the people. You had a makeup artist. Yeah, I had it for you. So we did the photo shoot at my sister's house. She lives in Jersey. Beautiful home. And it was more cozy. Yeah. Because it was like a lot of friends of mine, family of mine. So the girls I work with. That you know. Yeah. I, want, I, I like to bring people, you know, people, my people in. Yeah. Give them the experience. They take it, they take it. If yeah. they don't, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I just want to see everyone around me do something good. Exactly. You know, so it felt good having everybody that I was comfortable with because I was yelling at everybody and I was an overwhelmed and mess that day. It's okay. Literally, I was like bridezilla if I was, you know, it was yeah, my a wedding. Yeah, taste of your wedding Oh my day. gosh, so... <laughs> We had it at my sister's house. It was so good. Like my mom and my sister did such a good job. They set everything up. It looked so nice. Oh my God, they did such a good job. I made, so for each model and everyone that did a service, I did goodie bags. And I just got like scrunchies, makeup bags, the gouaches, hair stuff. Like I just put everything in there. Just like cute little like spa day, like yeah. self care type of thing. Who doesn't love self-care yeah, stuff? I mean, it was... I'm obsessed with self-care yes. things. And it's going... It's so easy, like... So easy. Yeah, so cute. So I put everything in there. Everyone's name was on stuff. Everyone got a champagne glass with their name on it. My dad, he does printing. So he did labels for the wine. So like the little, like... The little... Moscato, like the fake yeah. Moscato wine glass things had the logos on them. So it was so cute. So it was all set up good. They set it up. That's all them. I didn't set any of that up. I love how supportive they are. They got everything pink. Trees, everything was pink. I had chocolate covered strawberries, Oreos done. One of my good friends, Alea, did the logo on the Oreo. And I've never seen that before. And mm -hmm. I didn't know that was like a thing. And I was like, oh my God, like that was amazing to me. Like I didn't even want to eat them. And was I was like, I want, we, kept, we kept them for like a week and then they're like, you gotta throw these out. And I was like, no, they're staying in the fridge. Like, they gotta go. But how nice did it feel? Your logo was on something. And it it didn't, like, you're you're looking at something that's yours, and it's just like, oh. And then you really take it in, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, it feels different. Yeah. You know, it's a, diff it's a completely different ball game at that point. So I had brought all the clothes. I had makeup artists there. I had Sydney and Destiny doing makeup. Yes. I, we, they're awesome. They're so good. I follow, um, I know that uh, Destiny, she uh, did makeup on my wedding or my sister-in-law's wedding. And then Sydney, I've been dying to have her do my makeup because I love everything she posts. They I think that great. like she would do my makeup really nice. They were so great. I'm so happy that they were a part of it with me. And, and are they, they friends of yours? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you had mm -hmm. all, all your friends. So I, there was eight girls and I, my nerves were shot at that day because I'm like, how are we fitting these all in here? Like, I felt like I was running like theater. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, like, you know, curtains. Yeah, like, cracking the yeah, whip. Let's like, go. You know, to places. <laughs> I was such a nervine that day. But, and then I had Dolores doing hair. And let me tell you something, she did- Big Ragged Buddha? Yes. Oh, nice. And the hairstyles I picked, not everybody was a fan and I apologize, you know, st I'm still apologizing to people because I did a lot of extension pieces okay. from Amazon. Yeah. Ponytail extensions and stuff like that. Wait, Actual extension. a whole nine yards. Yes. Yeah. And I love that you did it professionally. This is so mind blowing to me. 
people need to it was a day. People need to follow what you're doing. It was you're doing a something day. right. I knew I wanted that to be my old. Like people kept saying, like, when's this coming out? When's this coming out? And I was like, Well, I'm not gonna sell myself short or make anything look less than what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I took the time for months, months putting them goodie bags together. And it seems like something so small, but to me, I made sure everything in there was a certain color. Yeah. And they all got custom anklets with their initials on them. Please, you thought, yeah, you I'm extra. I'm extra. You thought of it all. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, is there another drop happening? I there need is. to know. Yes. So we're not going to give too many details, but there's going to be another drop. Obviously, pink was the first just because mm -hmm. it's my favorite color. Yeah. And it was perfect for Valentine's Day. And the Barbie movie. Yeah. It just all tied in. It really did. And it was funny because this was actually like going to be made before Barbie came out, like all that stuff. Wow. So when that was like happening, everyone's like, you need to get your stuff out. Like Barbie's coming out. I'm like, Barbie? Like, yeah, come on, Barbie. Come on, Barbie. Why, why, why are you pushing me? I, I don't <laughs> got, like, I have to wait until like February. But it worked out, you know? Valentine's Day was a huge hit. Oh my gosh. Like my first couple of days, I was so overwhelmed. I was like, how am I doing this? Like, did like, you sit and just cry? Like, this is happening. Yeah, like, I'm this is like, happening to my life. Right I had now. to, I actually took off from like both my jobs the day of the drop because I knew I was going to yeah, be so overwhelmed. That was, that was really a great idea for you because I don't, I want to be able to do that. I was like, no, that's it. This comes first, you know, today. It was very important. But yeah, so I mean, pink was important for me. I love pink, you know, just, it's, it's just feminine. so cute, like, it's just, just like, bright and job. It does. And like, everybody looks good in pink. But Not everybody thinks that. Pink. Like, yes. I love the specific color of pink. Like, I just feel like it's just, it's, very happy. I don't know. Like that's when I look. Mm -hmm. But it I doesn't look, bright. It's not too bright. No. Like I like a, like a hot pink. No, no. But it's like it's perfect. Yeah. Like it did it take you long to figure out what pink or you knew where right in your head? Well, go and buy this. Okay. So once I seen the logo, this is where the ideas yeah. came out. Like my initial ideas were different than what I have today. Okay. Every lot changed, you know. So when I had the logo and I seen the two colors with it, I was like, this would look so good. With on a pink set yeah but i looked at colors i didn't like them too light i for some reason this color when i seen it it was just like a go for me yeah and the dark and the light with this color it matches because it's like dark pink light pink and then medium pink i agree i think it's like, it meshes well meshes perfect mm -hmm. and the way you package them is so cute i went downstairs and i like you have them individually in bags so organized. It's not like you're going to a girl that's just sticking your sweatshirt and your mm -hmm. like you're in a plastic bag. Like you have them ziplocked, labeled a little tag. You tag them, right? And you put like a little card. So cute and so professional, and it's just perfect. Like that's a, you're perfect. You were. So... You were like I cannot believe everything that you do. It's mind blowing. It listen. It I look at it sometimes, and I'm like, "This is mine." Like how I do all this. How did you tag them? Like so, my dad did the, the like the cards. Yeah, but how so do you perfect. put it on them? I, is there you a machine? You tagged on. Like, I had the, wait. There's a tag there's on. A tag on. So it's a like a little thing, and it has a point, like a sharp point, and you poke it through, and you press the button, and it tags it out. And that's also been in my fingers, you know. Yeah, and you label every one of them. Like I saw like this was like everything was labeled. It needed to be a certain way. Like I said, I didn't want to sell myself short on anything, but I wanted it to be organized. I didn't want it to be like halfway done. Yeah. So where it's like, oh, I just threw this inside of a pink bag and there you go, there's your purchase. No, they were hand steamed every item because so when I get my items, they come, I get it from a manufacturer, but we customized like everything on this is customized from me everything was different like ideas that sparked at first that i seen like examples i did not like them so the poor woman would just hear me i don't like that i don't like that now i don't like that we're changing this we're changing this yeah like um the one um not this one but the one upstairs has like a v mm -hmm. i love that because it like blends in with the yes. logo and then because i'll be honest since i was teaching myself to embroider centering is so hard you can imagine so that on that was so like I was like this is gonna blend well 
because I'm gonna know where to position it yes. with the logo. Yeah, and like I love these, like the ruffle, like you don't even, what's mm -hmm. that called? Like what's this called? Your snatch pieces. Snatch, just that's what I say. Let's that. just say your snatch pieces. The snatch pieces, pieces. Yeah. yeah. Like I just, I love everything about it. I really do. And how can people buy your product? So I have a website that I made. I did the website on Shopify. It took me forever to figure that out. That's a whole like other thing, but I put the website together. So I wanted to use it for per like, I wanted to be professional. I didn't, not saying that people aren't professional when they use like other things. I just was like obsessed with the whole, I want a website. Yeah. I wanted to put all those pictures from the photo shoot on the website. And it's probably so much easier to stay organized and you don't have to worry about like people just them yeah, me. Yeah, and, and that was a big thing, yeah. Like people were like, oh, here's cash. Like it wasn't even out yet. And yeah. people were ha trying to hand me cash because they seen sneak peeks on Instagram. And I'm like, I didn't want to have to deal with that where it was like, I'll Venmo you, I'll give you cash, I'll do this. And I was like, no, everything's gonna be handled through the website. Just like people would buy from another company. Exactly. We're gonna do the same here. We're gonna keep it professional. You're gonna see what you want. You're gonna select it. You're gonna select your size. Right. And then you could either get, so you can get it shipped to you or you could pick it up or I could drop it off if you're within like the city. Yeah. And I don't mind dropping it off to people that are in the city. I'll just do all my deliveries in like one or two days during the week and try and get them out. Other than that, people are more than welcome to pick them up from my house where I'll ship them. Yeah. And when you start your own business, it's a lot of time, a lot of money. Like that's probably like so yeah. stressful. But when you see your product doing so well, it's the most rewarding thing. Like I could just see like the glow in your eyes, like how proud you are and you should yeah, be. Yeah, it does. It, it hits me now seeing everything because I've come so far. Like I did all this on my own. I didn't have a business loan. This is from working at second job, months and months of producing thousands of dollars being put out of my pocket, mm -hmm. staying in, sacrificing. Like when you really want something, you work hard for it. And the biggest thing that I say for is if people choose not to do things because they can't, that's laziness to me because my biggest thing is when people say, oh, I can't, nobody can't because we all can. We all can, you're not trying hard mm -hmm. enough. You you're can, not. You can do it. You put the work in, you say it, and I say it every day. So I need fashion tips from you. Oh, absolutely. Or, and you could, you could like, you know, ask me for fashion tips. Oh, I, I need it. I am. I like styling people. I'm the worst girl. I really am. Like, I just started getting my nails done again. Like, I hate going and getting my nails done. So do it getting a pedicure is a whole different story like yes massage my feet <laughs> but no but sitting there having someone like i can't sit still and then and you, the poor women are like you need to sit still and i'm like i can't jitters like i can't yeah, do like, it are we done like how much longer like all right i'll, I'll finish this one like i i like my feet yeah because you're just like you're relaxed. really like relax your hands moving around too much it's they like a little massage little chair yeah. right now that the, the I know we probably sound nuts. Like some people really love that time for themselves. Me, I can't. I'm, my phone's right here. Notifications. I'm doing this. I'm touching my phone with this. Mm -hmm. When they put the, like the little, uh, what's that called? The foil around your fingers. Yeah. I'm like tapping it like Everything this. is so time consuming. The one day I tapped it with my chin, just to open up my phone. I'm like, am I, is there something wrong with me? I can't like five seconds not be on my phone. That's definitely an issue. I understand that. But there's just so much going on that, getting my nails done is not a priority to me. <laughs> no, I dread thinking, of, like when I have any events coming up, press on nails are going on. You're lucky I painted them today, <laughs> you okay? Did. Well, I feel special, thank like, you. <laughs> no, it's it's a lot. I don't find like, I don't find enjoyment. I don't that. at all. I just, I cringe when I think like, oh, I'm gonna have to go get my nails, nails done. done. And I used to be like an acrylic queen. Like I Me used too. to always get them in done and they would be like this long. In yeah. high school, I was all about getting acry like acrylic nails. And then I was just like, I can't be bothered with this. No, like, it's too much. No, and then I remember one one time in high school, I'm closing the, the locker. Oh, the pain that mm. I felt, my when nail that... cracked in half. I had blood everywhere. I was like, forget these acrylic nails. It was the most painful thing ever. No, yeah. It's happened to me several times. Mm -hmm. And that's what made me stop getting them. I got them for years. I was getting them since I was in grade school. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, no more. Now I'm like, like my friends will say, remember when you used to get those nails? And there would be like two on. 
and I would have band-aids on the rest the of the rest fingers. Of like, come on, get it together. <laughs> get it now together. I'm like, still don't have them done, but okay. I'd rather not have them on. And just having a beautiful outfit. But I'll get press on once from Amazon. If I'm going to an event, they're going on, they're getting glued on, they're getting taken off the same night. So, I use my hands a lot, so it's yeah, like hard. Exactly, and for the wedding, I'm assuming you're going to be wearing press on nails for a left wedding. Yeah. What are you wearing to that? I still don't have an outfit. I'll help you. I, I, I will. I need some help. Um, her wedding's literally on March 8th. I don't know when this is airing, but it's either right before the wedding or right after, but it's gonna be after the wedding. So I don't have an outfit and Taylor's helping me get one. Um, so I have a pink pail, like a light pink outfit dress gown whatever you want to call it and it has like a rose here wait that's so beautiful and i didn't like the rose at first mm -hmm. because like i feel like it that's looks like flat. it is and it was like flappy so i'm afraid that they're gonna so i'm gonna find a way i'm gonna stick something inside of it and blow dry it so that way it stays in the place and then i'll have the rest of the night and you are you're fully planned and like i said i saw nothing maybe if this airs after the wedding we can show a picture of us together absolutely with what the outfit looks like well, because we, i i want to find something springy her vibe is you know that's what's in right now like the 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 colors of like the pale blues and the and the pinks and the the, the that what's that green color that's like really big right like they're all like light greens really yeah, pretty like, i've been on like a kick with that i've been yeah. saying a lot of light greens that I like. Light greens, and I, I think another color of hers is like a purple. Um, so really pretty colors. So I'm not just wearing a black dress, which I just feel like I want to look bright. We'll look for a light green. Whoa, okay, mm. let's let's look for it. Like a light green. I don't even know what the name is. I don't know names of colors. Neither do I. It's like just, I know there's like like extravagant names, and I'm like, oh, just that's light green. Light green. A so kind of light green. so your job. Even though you have 60000 is to find me a light green dress. Absolutely. <laughs> so I can wear it to the wedding. And we'll see if that's actually going to happen, if it's a light green, whatever. The picture will be somewhere in this. Okay. Um, so I have a game for you. Okay. Are you ready for a game? Absolutely. Okay. So, so this or that fashion. Okay. This is right up your alley. Neutrals or colors. 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 Always like a pop of color. Yeah. I like neutrals because they're easy, but so are colors like pink. A lot of people wouldn't like dare to like step into a pink outfit until they do. And they're like, oh my God, this is nice. And they access you can accessorize mm -hmm. with neutral colors. And that's what I found with these is like, I'll put on, you know, like a, I have a gray jacket, gray sneakers. I wouldn't think looking at that would I pair that with a pink set like most of the time people are like oh I'll do like white sneakers mm -hmm. now I've worn black and white sneakers tan sneakers green so you could put it with anything anything as long as you have the right accessories I love how um when we me and you were talking on the phone how like you were talking about your joggers and your sweatpants and how you were describing it to me and like seeing it I completely understand so like the sweatpants are not like snatched to your yeah, ankle snatched. <laughs> i feel like sweatpants and this is just my look at it i wear a jogger when i want to enhance my sneaker so that's more of enhancing my look like sweatpants for me are just i'm putting on a sweatpant mm -hmm. i don't care what shoes i'm wearing because yeah. you don't really see when you're wearing a flowy sweatpant you don't really see your shoes mm -hmm. joggers you do yeah so i feel like joggers are more like you're enhancing your entire look with your sneaker because you see the whole foot mm -hmm. you see the sock too you see it all. You see it all. So like, it enhances it. it pops out. Sneakers ain't night and they're they're coming out. Um, denim or leather? Denim. Mm -hmm. That's like really big right now. Like all the different denims and, and it's even, coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. It like reminds me of like Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake all over again. Oh my god. Like speaking of Alyssa, we did a denim day. We did like cow like in Nashville like cowgirl dance and we all wore denim outfits. But there was one that I really wanted and I didn't get. But it was. A denim outfit that had all different patchwork. That's I thought, cute. I thought that was so cute. And different. And so different, mm -hmm. but it works right now. Yeah. It really does. And I agree. I think like denim is, it really is coming back. I like leather to an extent. Mm -hmm. Like I like in black leather pants. With like a bodysuit. Yeah, like that is very flattering. But I'm not a big like, I wouldn't wear like, I would wear a denim dress. 
Mm-hmm. I wouldn't wear a leather dress. No, um, I, and especially if it's like pleather. Yeah, <laughs> which is which, what I'm going to be buying. Yeah, which is majority of what we yeah. look for <laughs> is the uh, the pleather. Yeah, um, like I remember wearing a pair of uh, the leather pleather uh, pants, and it squishes. Swish, swish. My husband would say, "What's up with these loud pants?" When you move your yes, yes. You but, have, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that's all I can afford. I'm wearing the pleather. I, We're wearing the pleather. Who cares? Like we're wearing the pleather. I'm not a designer girl. I. I you know, it's just these days you wear outfits once, like when you're going to a big event. So I physically can't fathom, especially someone who like is a stay at home mom to buy designer clothes. I wish that I had it in me to do it. Right. So when I buy these pleather pants, I'm like, all right, if they swish a little bit, who's going to care? <laughs> Who's going to care? A little swish. Especially if you're at a restaurant, there's something, background noise. If you're at a bar, who's hearing it? Like, yeah, I'm walking down the steps. It's making noise. Just ignore it for a second. That's all, right? Yeah, who cares? It's a little swish. A little swish. And swish that's what we're working with. We don't, you know? Yeah, we don't need it's as good as it gets. That. Yeah. So I feel like I don't know what you're going to answer for this because we've talked about these two things, uh, sneakers or heels. Oh, this is hard for This you. is very hard for me. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what you're going to pick for this. So if I show you a picture of my bedroom, you would immediately think sneaker because my dad's best friend actually built, because my room's small, the whole top of my room is a sneaker shelf. So around the entire room, my sneakers go around the whole room. And Wow, yeah. you must have a ton. I love sneakers, like, and I try to keep them in, like, the best shape, too. Not like me. I'm, like, a kindergartner. I (laughs) I really am. The the way I have my sneakers, it's, like, they get all, like, dirty real quick. I'm the worst. I have pairs like that where that's it. Like, once they're dirty, like, that's that's what we're working with there. Mm -hmm. But I will buy, like, another pair. So I have my good sneaker and then... My dirty sneaker, dirty you sneaker. know, so I would wear my dirty sneaker New Year's Day. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm not buying a new pair of sneakers New Year's Day. You're out of your mind. People are but nuts. Whoever does that's stupid. No. That's why you, you know, like, Air Forces, Air Forces will never go out of style. No. They're convenient. I don't like the dirty look to the Air Force, mm-hmm. but you could wear them when you're going somewhere that they don't have to be nice. Exactly. Why? Don't ruin a good pair of shoes. Please don't ruin a good pair of shoes. Well, I my can't. New Year's Day, I'm wearing a... a new year's shoe it's like from my suit you you have to go figure out your shoe oh i do figure out my yes um back to the questions fancy or casual casual yeah yeah i like to dress up Mm -hmm. i feel good but i could feel good in anything i wear yeah and it takes a lot to like really dress up it has to be like a once in a while thing because like i'm a person that if there's an event coming, I already know what I'm wearing. Like, as soon as I've been invited, like, I already know what I'm wearing. And everyone's like, oh, I got to find an outfit. And I'm like, like me. I already know. They're like, what? I'm like, accessories and everything else. I know my press on nail color and all. <laughs> I swear. I love the press on nails. I swear. I need to try them out. They're so easy. Like, is there anything to it? You just press them on? The ones that I get from Amazon, I'll show you. Yeah. They have a really good glue for some reason because when me and my boyfriend went to AC Mm -hmm. for his birthday last month, I couldn't get them off. Oh, okay. And I was like, um, this isn't good because I type all day (laughs) and I'm like, oh no, these got to come off. These were just for the weekend and they they weren't coming off. So I actually posted like on Instagram about the nails and like, i was like oh, can you get them off? these are good nails yeah <laughs> like on amazon the nails really good because i know like some people wear them to try and keep them on mm-hmm. i keep them on for under 24 hours guess what that's fine because you have a lot to do you're mm-hmm. typing constantly um i feel like <clears throat> i know your answer to this last one online or mall Ugh, online yeah don't put me in a mall i'm not kidding the mall is trash anymore. And it's it's so overwhelming. Like, I I walk in the Forever, Forever 21 was, like, my go-to. Mm-hmm. Not so much anymore. Like, if I have to go to the mall and I have to, you know, walk around, I'll go in the Forever 21 because yeah. it's convenient. But when you walk in there, like, you're just walking into chaos. Like, Could you're just, look, I look around and I just want to turn back out. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing Literally this. Literally want to throw up. How do you even navigate? 
the anxiety. Like <laughs> online, you look tops, bottoms, everything's organized. organized. Yeah. Do they don't have it where it's like here's here's this? I mean, of course they separate it, but not really. It's uh, still all over the place. And you're with fashion. I'm not. So when I go to a mall, you should see my brain. I'm just like, let me just leave. And I'm someone who can go to a mall mm-hmm. and not buy a goddamn thing because I can't put mm-hmm. sets together because I'm terrible at fashion. So when you're online, it shows a top. And then it shows, this would look good with uh, these pants. And, and I'm you like, can you know search. What? Guess what? I'm going to put this pants with that because that's what they recommended for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the mall, you're... You fend for yourself. It's horrible. Here I am. I'm looking at the mannequins. Like I'm like, what did they do with the mannequins? Like did they, they, they paired the dress, and then you look for the dress, and then the dress isn't there. I'm like, I, I need to just go home. Yeah, and then it's not your size. Or sometimes I'm like, or there's like uh, someone tried it on, and I do like I've go, I've gone home with it, and there's like spray tan, like eyelash glue, <laughs> mascara, lip gloss, <laughs> and I'm like, and there. you bring it back, and they don't want to take it, and I'm like, oh, well, this is why I don't come into the store, and this yeah. is why I'm online. Plus online, you can search. Yeah. So like me, if I have like a bag, like I could find a bag out Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, what am I going to wear with this? I don't know. Like my brain just really go with that for some reason. And I honestly have no idea where that came from. I've always had a good eye with matching things. So if I see like the print of a bag, oh my God, I seen a shoe last week that had the same print and I'm looking that shoe up and then they, they match like identical and everyone's like, did you buy them together? And I'm like, no, I didn't. Like, I'm inspired. I really am. So let's bring it back to Philly. Okay. Um, what are your favorite small businesses, places to eat, favorite things to do? Like, I just want to know when you think of Philly, what do you think of? Local. Local. I like to stay local and I need to get out of that. Hopefully, that will change soon. I have been a person who, like, I will go to the same place and get the same thing because guess what? I know I'm going to be satisfied. I get so scared to, like, try different food places because I'm so afraid I'm not going to like it. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't want to waste your money. That's number one. And I'm like, and it, when you go out, you want to be satisfied. Like, you want to have a good meal. I don't blame you. Yeah. What, like, what I, is your top spot? You know we're pulling Gianna in here and we're mentioning pesto. Let's go. Listen, I have to <laughs> just say it. I love pesto. Mm-hmm. Like her being on here recently, yeah, she was I was the first like, episode. I felt like I was there eating. I was uh-huh. like, I like they're they're so such good people. They are. I had my birthday dinner there. All my friends went. Oh my god, and it was so cute. Like mm-hmm. we had the room to ourselves, and you just feel like Fat you're, at home, you're at honestly. home. Honestly, like you know, they're, they're just really they're good there. people, and the food's so good. And Gianna and their is. espresso martinis are phenomenal. Listen, everyone loves es- oh espresso martinis. God. Don't tell me you're going to say you don't. No, I I got to be honest. I, I don't think I can drink them because of the celiac disease. Oh yeah. I have to ask Gianna what's in maybe them. there's a because I need to try. I never tried one. So when I talk to people, I'll be honest with you. The thought of it was like ew to me at first because coffee and what. I love coffee mm-hmm. and I'm not See, a- I'm not a coffee drinker. Okay. Um, but I love tiramisu. So that's mm-hmm. like kind of like the real question. Like, yeah, I think I would love this. I really do. Um, yeah, my heart would probably like pound out of my chest, but I'd need to try one. Everyone's probably like, Are you, what? she's living under a rock. Like, well, who did not drink an espresso martini before? Not everybody. <laughs> and like, not everybody makes some good. That's okay. one thing. If you go to a really good place that makes a good espresso martini, you're locked in. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because I like them a lot to where when I go to places that offer it, I'm trying it. And when it's not good, ruined. So that's Mm -hmm. also why like I like to stay within the same places because it's like I get my local drinks Mm -hmm. and my food and I know what kind of service I'm getting. Yeah. So you have to have someone who really makes a good espresso martini. I like them like creamy. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Gianna says she makes her she makes them a little foam, right? Yeah. So I think I need to try hers. As long as all the ingredients are fine, I'm drinking. They're, them. they're good there. I need to try. They're amazing it. there. We'll change that. Amazing. 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 Mm-hmm. This Abs- this interview was amazing. amazing. It was. <laughs> it was so good. I feel like I've known you for years. I know. Isn't that wild? You have like, such like spunk. Me, you, you. Like the way you talk on this is awesome. Like the whole interview was so great. I'm so sad it's over. I really am. I, it, it came to an end. Like this is awful. 
<laughs> this is depressing. Um, we would need to bring you back or we need to hang out. We can not go to the mall or just go no. on the computer and figure out what I'm wearing in life because I need Well, any time that you need to put together an outfit, you let me know. I'd probably get like... I'll give myself a time limit on it, you know, not 30 seconds and like send it to you, but I'm pretty good with it. And I like doing that, so. Okay, so your your first job, like I said, is Alyssa's wedding. Okay. And that's what you're gonna do for me. You're gonna find me an outfit. Light green. Light green. Are you okay with that color? I'm okay with- Cause I could see you in a light I'm green. I'm okay with anything that you wanna put me in because like I said, I have no sense of style. All right, we'll All see. right, you got me going. All right, perfect. So you need to give me your final words of encouragement for anyone who's trying to follow like their dream, whether it be a business or a craft or anything really. Absolutely. So my biggest thing is to go for it. Take that first step. As scary as it is, and I'm speaking from like real experience here, as defeating as it is, frustrating it is, all the negativity that you feel, take that step. You'll feel so proud of yourself. And once you take that first step, there's no reason to turn back. Like you already come so far. It takes everything to take that first step for yourself because it's a lot. You're putting it all on the table then. Mm -hmm. Take that first step. Do what makes you happy. I'm all about that. Really, you know, going and striving for things that make you happy. I'm very goal oriented and about like motivation and things like that. So I'm constantly trying to strive people into that direction. But work hard for it because you will see it. And I know, you know, long nights, early mornings is not for everybody. But when you want something, honey, you'll get it. You got to work hard. Yep. You work hard. You put put in all that work and it shows. It's very beautiful. Beautiful words. Inspiring. Nice. You know, we're on the same page. Same Absolutely. page. Absolutely. Once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me with your busy schedule. I appreciate it. Thanks for having love me. Love your clothes. Love everything. Um, you're gonna have a really su successful future. I'm excited to see your new drop. And yeah, you already got the secrets on that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, like pretending yeah. that I don't know. So when it, when it gets announced, like, oh my God, I'm gonna be like, oh my I God. didn't know I, I, I did. Know I did. Yeah. yeah, everyone, don't even ask me. Don't ask me, I'm lips are sealed. I ain't telling a soul. No one, okay. no one's gonna know, I promise. Um, but thank you everyone at home uh, for listening subscribing, watching. Um, this means, means the world to us uh, for the City Buzz. If you want to be on the City Buzz or know, you know a business that wants to be on it or just want to talk, hit me up. I literally can talk to a fly on the wall. So, And remember, keep your eyes on the city and, and your, your ears, ears on, on the, the buzz. buzz.